tracks and books. Um, really, really pleased with the way the kids practiced the last two days, especially today. I mean, we had a great Tuesday practice. Obviously, we had some adversity today with some of the uh, weather coming in here, so we had you know switched schedules up and you know didn't uh, things were a lot out of order. But I thought the kids handled it with great maturity um, and really had a very energetic practice. Uh, is, you know, really, I, th I feel like we got two solid days in. Uh, you know, which game week yeah, you want to be trending in the right direction. So you know, really pleased with the last two days. Uh, you know, as we head into Thursday. Not a lot of Uh, on your quarterback's coach. Is that an advantage? Do you have kind of the element of surprise maybe against Michigan? I don't know. We'll find out Saturday. When are you guys leaving Friday? What's kind of the set schedule for the weekend? Um, so we'll walk through here Friday morning, head to the airport and leave just after lunch, um, get up to Ann Arbor, uh, head over to the stadium, uh, as soon as we get off the plane, and so uh, still get to the hotel about five o'clock. So we'll have our normal Friday night, and then you know twelve o'clock kickoff. It's going to be a fast Saturday morning, so uh, you know we'll be back in Greenville, you know, for a, you know late dinner. So uh, it's going to be a quick weekend. Who are the leaders you count on week one? Who are some of the guys that are going to rally the team in the locker room? Well, I think you know the experienced guys that we do have that uh, you know have been you know players on the field the last couple of years will be the guys that will be, you know, the most comfortable going into Saturday. I mean, they're, they're not going to be phased by, you know, anything because they've played a lot of big ball games. So, you know, Jeremy Lewis, uh, Roger Harris, um, you know, Josiah Hatfield, uh, Elijah Morris, you know, Tay, Tay Johnson, um, you know, a lot of those guys, Jack Powers, you know, Julius Wood, you know, all, the, all those guys that everybody knows their name, they're going to be, they're going to be the guys that, uh, you know, be, you know, very vocal pre-game and very vocal on the field Saturday. We talked about some of those leaders, we talked to a few of them yesterday, some of your uh, players, they seem pretty excited about getting ready to hit somebody, how have they been this week? Well, they're tired of hitting each other, that's the biggest thing, so, uh, no, they're, they're excited about the matchup, they work very hard, uh, and, uh, you know, I think we've got a good group coming back on that side of the ball, and I think they're eager to go out there. You know, they they know what they're facing. They know that they're facing what everybody calls, you know, uh, you know, the most talented team in the country, and obviously a very explosive offense and the NFL quarterback. Uh, and so, you know, anytime you're in that situation, you know, you want to go out there and kind of, you know, see what you're made out of. So they're they're excited for the, uh, for the challenge. How does that go to, to the two guys defensively that you want to talk about their offensive line? Are they looking forward to kind of you know, seeing that firsthand group how, how good they can be too? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's an experienced veteran bunch up front. Uh, and they're facing a, a very good bunch up front on the other side of the ball. So, uh, you know, it's I'm glad we got the numbers we have because we're going to need it. Um, but it'll be, a, it'll be a great challenge and a great opportunity for them to evaluate themselves. Maybe this is for you, but just as far as practice tomorrow and the weather, how much of a concern is that? Um, you know, don't see no ability to practice indoor, really. Right, it, it's a concern. Uh, I'm glad we got today in. You know, we switched the schedule up and practiced uh, immediately today, and uh, you know, I thought the kids handled it very, very well. Um, you know, we're, we're ready to go in for meetings right now, and you know, hopefully we're going to have, we have some ability to get a practice in tomorrow. Uh, but obviously a Thursday practice is very important from a special teams, uh, late game situations, sharpening up your game plan. I mean, Thursday is kind of the put it all together practice, so, you know, we need to get it in somehow. Anything else for Coach? I know you'll kick it off whenever, but for an opener, and you've been so excited about it all offseason, is it good to go ahead and get going at noon rather than having to wait until yeah. 8 o'clock? Yeah, I mean, it's... You know, the 8 o'clock kickoffs or the 7 o'clock kickoffs, those are, those are challenging on you mentally because you sit around all day waiting for waiting for it to get there. So, you know, I do like some of the thing about, you know, get up and, and go play. Uh, now, the thing, we, we talked about it uh, on Tuesday, you know, the thing you got to do, though, is you got to speed up your process as far as getting yourself mentally ready to play. You know, they really, and that will be my big focus after practice tomorrow and Friday morning is, you know, them getting mentally prepared for the game. Uh, they, they've spent a lot of time, I mean, I mean, they're in the building a lot watching films, so they know Michigan pretty well, so it's not like they got to do, you know, as soon as you flip the page to the opponent next week, you're going to be in a race to get prepared, but they've seen plenty of tape of Michigan, so they should be pretty ready, you 
know, as far as knowing their opponent wise, uh, to start really focusing on what they've got to do as far as mental prep, Neil. So, uh, again, get them to go play on Saturday. Coach, uh, Jeremy Lewis has been a guy with the program quite a while. I don't know if you've already spoke on him today, but just uh, can you just elaborate a little bit on how he's kind of become a leader for the defense and how you see him fitting in this year? Well, you know, really proud of him. Uh, he's grown tremendously as a player, grown tremendously as a person since uh, you know, since he arrived on campus. Uh, and he's certainly a, he's a positive role model uh, off the field. Uh, you know, does a great job in the classroom, does a great job in the community. Uh, but he's a, he's a real, you know, emotional leader on the field. And, uh, you know, uh, I said it earlier in the preseason, I was a little worried, you know, coming off the surgery and all season, missing the spring. But I think he's playing, you know, his best ball right now. So obviously he's a big part of us defensively. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks a lot.